Hey darlings, it's Gwen. Um, I'm here to do a beautiful oracle reading for the 21st of June. Happy summer solstice, right? Yes. Um, today's the number frequency of three though, 21, right? So three is about um, connecting with your spiritual body as well. We have a mental body. We have an emotional or a heart, heartfelt body, and we have a spiritual body and working all three of them beautifully and learning how to balance, balance that. Okay. Um, so many things are happening in our lives, energies that are supporting beautiful transformation and releasing old programming, um, so many of our views, so much is changing if we are allowing, okay? Um, like sometimes like in my world right now, I'm just like, whoa, whoa. And now this, and now that. And, um, spirit is showing me to, um, through situations, people and whatnot, um, how I tend to hold space in a negative way that's, uh, detrimental to my body temple, honestly, uh, because I am a light worker, healer whatever you want to call me, you know, like empath, earth angel, whatever you want to call me, hate labels, but like, I, I feel things deeply. Okay. I connect to people, even if it in a short time span, if you want to call it that, um, I can connect very deeply and want to help so much this whether it be through just listening fully and intently which carries an energy uh, uh, like can be draining to the energetic body and emotional body to hold space for so many okay especially when others see you with reverence as a teacher or oracle and whatnot you know but I tend to um, hold the burdens of others upon my back in a way. And I'm learning what that does to me. I'm learning how heavy that feels. Um, sometimes we can't help others. Sometimes it's just in, you know, like I'm going through a tough time with my child who is, you know, 25. And, um, I don't send worry out into the universe about that relationship. I only send healing and love and protection. I send my angels, you know, I just had a situation with him today where I'm just like, oh, my hands are kind of tied, you know, like I'm, I'm allowing, I'm letting go, not being that overprotective mom, you know, and, um, cause that's all I was ever trained to be from my own mother. Um, but I don't send the worry out. I just send the love. Um, but I think we're all dealing with our own stuff behind the scenes, whether we're letting people know that or not, there's much going on because things much needs to happen. This is not a time for complacency. Okay. This is a time to deeply connect with our roots and our families and especially our children who need us, who need our direction, who need our unconditional love as they are trying to motherfucking navigate to, right? This 3D matrix. Um, I don't know if any of y'all are seeing, but I'm um, like so much deja vu. It's fucking ridiculous. What is this? that spirit. I love you guys, but good griefness. So let's get started. Thanks for joining me as I rambled on. You know, I always tune in that kind of way. 
I'm sure some of you will resonate with some of the things I've said. But as through all of the change and the happenings and, you know, the, the eclipses are having us release, you know. We're releasing. And now the sun, the solar eclipse, you know, the sun shining. And then we got this big super moon in Capricorn sign coming up, you know, on the 24th. It's, oh, it's just allow the change. Allow it, lovies. Keep loving you. Keep keep. Remember, this is their bag, not your bag. You unpack your bag. Let others unpack their bag. Don't carry the burdens of others. Continue to shit, y'all. I tell my, I'm calling Michael in all the time. Archangel Michael, I call upon you to protect me and my brothers and sisters with your divine protection of, you know, I see it as blue and white light. Okay? Cut. Cut the cords that no longer serve my highest good and surround me with your ultimate divine protection. Protect my child. You know, this is what I do. You, He is that powerful. He can be with you and me and the next, just like that. So give it to your angels. Give your worry over. Everything's happening exactly how it should be. Okay? Even if we don't understand it with this, with this 3D mind. Some things we're not meant to understand, my lovies, okay? So I've got the Divine Feminine out today. I did a Power 3 reading, but I also got some tarot cards. I wanted to go a little deeper today. Dive deeper today. Um, white Buffalo Calf Woman. Mm, I've never had her come out of my deck before. Um, but let's definitely learn and read about her. This is the Prophetess of the Sacred Way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. We are all very much learning about, as we are co-creating with spirit, as we are ascending to higher levels in our awakening, okay? Higher frequencies, higher timelines, okay? Shifts. We are realizing that our, it all starts here in our heart center with our worth, okay? And, and that um, abundance runs to us and through us. Right? And that we um, we need to we really do need to I just that worry again that comes out. That's like I think many fear many people are overcome with fear and don't take leaps of faith because, you know, um, how will I do it? I don't have the money to do it. I don't know. You know, where is the money going to come from? And we have all of these questions, you know, where we just want to feel safe and spirit wants us to feel safe and, and know that we will always be taken care of. Okay. We must truly feel safe and secure. Um, because when we doubt, when we have the doubts like that, then the universe just continues to, show us that lack in our life. Um, so let's talk about her real quick. White Buffalo Cat Woman represents the sacred vision that gives us hope that all will be provided for us. Okay. Um, White Buffalo Cat Woman is the primary cultural prophet of the Lakota religion. Buffalo are considered sacred to the Plains people and are seen as messengers from the ancestors. A Lakota legend says that two Young scouts went out in search of food during a, fam a famine. They saw a stunningly beautiful woman appear before them in a radiant white light. The first scout approached her with unholy intentions, and the second scout watched as the first man turned to bones the instant he tried to touch her. She was clearly uh, very holy. Thankfully, he knew this. She asked him to approach her because she could see into his heart and knew his intentions were good. She told him to prepare her for prepare for her arrival in the village. He went back and gathered everyone together. She appeared before them and taught them the seven sacred rites of the Lakota people, including the sacred pipe ceremony that binds men and women together in a circle of love and mutual respect. White Buff Buff Buffalo Calf Woman is a sacred reminder that we don't have to struggle. Oh Lord, I love you, my angels and ancestors. We don't have to struggle to receive all that we've desired. Let go of the struggle. Like, even when I think that I have, 
Spirits like, nah, Gwen. Are you absolutely grateful and in this moment, all day long, and in the every now moment, grateful for where you're at? Are you having many moments of non-gratitude? Like, are you... <laughs> Do you not trust that we got your back, that you, that you are beautiful and worthy and deserving of this beautiful birthright, okay? When we join our hearts longing with action, we find that there's a sacred way to move through the world. This sacred way is a path of steady, quiet alignment between the heart's intention and our every step. White Buffalo Calf Woman is an omen of hope that all will be provided for us when we approach each situation with love. What she wants us to focus on is the intention behind an action because that changes the outcome. She's a sacred prophetic sign that we can receive what we need without fighting for it or trying to secure it through manipulation. When prayer joins right action, when we move from that intention of creating only more love, then abundance is inevitable. And when we seek not just for ourselves, but also for the benefit of our loved ones and community, our needs are divinely met. The most sacred path is the, is the one abundant with love. Okay. What is my intention for the work I am currently doing? Okay. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. Okay. And what clarifies that from my uh, Murder of Crow's deck? Nose is itching like crazy. There's big messages in this white buffalo cat woman for me. <laughs> um, it's the Six of Pentacles. And it is about a balancing, about give and take, about giving and receiving, excuse me, and about, you know, this Six of Pentacles is a very paradoxical kind of energy. What up is, uh, what's up is down, what's, mm, you know, it's black and white and that sort of thing. So we're, we're learning how to balance. We're learning that, um... It's very important that our spiritual body is tended to, too. What we think about ourselves, what, how, how are we speaking to ourselves? Because that is definitely tied with the abundance. When we hold on to our abundance and we don't, we don't circulate it, not spend it, we circulate it, then, you know, um, then that shows the universe that we have more than enough always. When we hold on to it, we, we're lacking. We hold on to it so tight. No. When I have more than enough, I give. I give of it. I give of my services. I give of my art. I give of my time. I give of my heart. I give. You know. And I've been given for a fucking long ass time. But spirit also reminds you with the card six and the spirituality that it starts with self, and you must be mindful of taking care of you and your temple. And it's not. A bad thing to be selfish and take care of your needs and your, you know, because that's where abundance stems from. How you feel about yourself, how you're loving you, your connection with spirit, source, okay, God. How, you know, and that's that balancing that's happening right now. We are releasing during these. Super moons and these eclipses and whatnot, you know, old pro programming about our worth and, and it with money. Okay. Money is a frequency, is an energy. We are a frequency. We are an energy. We just got to tune into the right motherfucking station. All right. We're at its gateway. This is the middle card. White Buffalo Calf Woman. Gateway and gifts. Okay. Gateway. Um. This is my liminal spirit gateway to the liminal spirits deck, Oracle deck. Um, by what's her what's her beautiful name? I like to, I love this one, Laura Tempest Sadcroft. This is one of the five rights in my book. Okay, so yes, major changes, major things happening for all of us important for us to be in our heart centered mind see that the golden heart right here it's a crossroads the gateway speaks to crossroad too right this seems like a labyrinth here to me too lots of blue energy blue speaks to throat chakra correct um and, it, and it's also tying in with like releasing this it's it's a time to 
get out of this maze in the head is what I'm feeling. This labyrinth in the mind about, uh, I don't know, like money traps, money pitfalls and shit. You know, like I, I see this path here and I see it going, I, I see it right going right to the center. There's one way in and that's to go in. There's only one way to get to the center here. Okay. You got to go in. You got to go within is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Abundance is an inner job, is what they say. It's an inner thing, okay? So let's let's also read about this gateway, okay? Sometimes we must lose our way. Sometimes we must lose our way in order to truly orient ourselves to our surroundings and find ourselves. We must also discover that our paths overlap and cross in surprising ways with others who bring illumination into our lives. It may help to let ourselves begin again and... I have been allowing, I've been allowing, I've been allowing teachers, I've been allowing beautiful high vibrational energy into my life, people to give me advice in situations, you know what I'm saying? People to lift me, my soul tribe to come in, okay? For me to be blessed unexpectedly from the universe, like why not allow for healing and love to happen within my temple? There's just so many things I'm allowing. I'm allowing so much more open to how it comes. Cause I just like, I don't know. Like I release the oars kind of, you know, and got getting lost. I'm getting lost in it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's sometimes what we got to do to find our way. All right. And then I'm realizing that, you know, like every connection that is just drawn to me now and just the words of wisdom that I get. It's just like, yep, that's purposeful. Yep. That's why they're connected with me right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Oh yeah. I see the magic in the, in the now moment and I treasure it. And it is a gift to be connected with my soul tribe at this time. Often we let the idea of what we want to see override what we need to see. Only when we get lost does the veil fall from our eyes? Change your perspective or question in order to receive the wisdom you seek. The gateway may have a keeper. Sometimes this is fear within ourselves, holding us back, which we need to banish in order to pass through. Other times it is the doctrines and ideas of others that we let overshadow what we know to be true. It is you who holds the key, not others. Outside of these mental and emotional states, the keeper is sometimes a metaphysical protector we must acknowledge and sometimes make an offering to or pay a toll to in order to move ahead. You must determine which it is and decide what needs to be sacrificed or exchanged. There's some sort of sacrifice being made here at this crossroad. There's a big tower moment coming. I almost snort. I just snort. Just snort for a moment, Gwen. <laughs> Tower. Uh, what is this one? I don't know. 10, 11. It's a card 11. What's card 11 in my little book here? Hold on. Card 11. Oh, we got another. The spirit coming in with a oh, 11. See, 11s are like all about self trust, intuition, right? Right? Uh, Come on, with the tower, what are you bringing? What are you bringing to me with the tower? Justice. Yes, you see my eyes all fierce for you. Justice. Let the tower happen. Would you just allow this tower to happen? Tower is not nothing to be afraid of, my darling. Sometimes it's multiple towers. To move out what needs to be moved out and, you know, things rearranged and whatever. It could seem like it's I read some... Energy update from, I can't remember her name right now, an oracle I follow on Facebook, and it was about, like, uh, oh, Anna, oh, God, I can't ever say her name right, Alana Angelina or something like that from Australia, and she, like, was talking about being at the, uh, being, there's this tornado, and you being at the, the eye of the tornado, this cough, this, this chaos swirling all around. Okay. But justice is coming, so allow this tower to happen. All right? And your gifts. Let's talk about your gifts. <laughs> the dragons wanted to come out today and talk about gifts with you. Okay? And it's about being grateful for all that you do have right now as well. This is the Queen Alba dragon. 
okay, Queen Alba, all right? We frequently forget to be thankful for the gifts we receive. All too often, we focus on our wishes and desires and on what remains unfulfilled in our lives. And in so doing, we exist in an energy field of absence. And that's the thing of it. Like, as we are allowing and as we are awaiting all of our manifestations and our dreams and the love and all of that, we must not feel a sense of, when is it going to come? Be grateful for what you have in this now moment. Wishes and desires are, of course, good to have and are often the mainspring of our actions, but our goals and gratitude should be in balance. We should both pay heed to our desires and be grateful for all of our gifts. The, the beautiful Queen Alba is looking at you, recognizing the beauty of your soul and vibrating in perfect love for you. Turn today into a day of celebration of the gifts you have already received. Write down all the things for which you are grateful. As a dragon rider, you will never forget the companions who ride with you, honoring and protecting you. Having friends is a marvelous gift. Look at the list again the following day to make sure you have not forgotten something or someone. Good things come in threes, so check that list is complete on the third day as well. Then pick out two people to whom you would like to express your gratitude in the form of a gift. If one of these people is your mother, you might like to give her flowers. If one is a being that does not dwell in our dimension, then consider a heartfelt prayer or a lighting of a particular beautiful candle. And I really do feel like I, because I called upon Michael today, I'm really going to do a beautiful, I'm going to light a blue candle. It's this color right here today for Michael because I really feel like he's been protecting me for a while. Yeah, he's making me cry now. Stop it, brother. I call him brother. This is really chill. I'm grateful for my tribe. When you um, awaken and start leveling up, you know, you feel really deeply connected to your tribe through the heart. So when you are going through a hard time, your tribe knows it and they motherfucking show up. I'm very grateful for the those gifts in my life, those people, because it's taken me a long time to find them, motherfuckers, clowns, fucking love you guys, but it's because I was hiding, y'all, don't you get it, like, you have to be vulnerable and authentic, and want, you gotta want that fucking change, and you may not know how, but you just gotta fucking allow it. You say, I give it, I give it to my angels and I'm like, well, I love you. Archangel Michael, that's who I'm talking about. We'll light a candle and thank him. My dragons remind me that, you know, we are connected spiritually. Always. Not just in this 3D realm, you know, and that we're releasing the four. These are, this is what clarifies these gifts, okay? The nine of wands, which is feeling a very much burdened and... There's a lot going on, a lot of action in this card, but also feeling very tied down and trapped in the situation. Burdens, burdens is what I feel. And Four of Cups is not feeling worthy in a situation. Okay, so the things that we're releasing, because you are this beautiful gift and you are grateful. Sevens are about reevaluating the Sevens of Cups. Okay, lots of emotional healing I'm feeling in this, and that's why I'm feeling, you know, Grateful for the teachers, for the friends and brothers and sisters in my life who showed up as teachers. Because I, I asked for it. Don't you all? Y'all, come on now. Don't you know how this video game works yet? Okay. I asked for it. That's what I wanted. I needed it. I need these people to show me the mirror, show me the mirror, show me the truth. I'm learning. I'm, I'm releasing. I'm growing. I'm learning. Oh, you know, this is see this, this man seeing spirit with them. Okay. Sevens are about rest, revaluation, recreation, right? This is the, the crow shadow here at the back, embracing the shadow, seeing the light, seeing you are not alone. You are fucking not alone. Let the tower happen. Let the change happen. What's the underlying energy from my murder of crows tarot? <laughs> Would you let go? It's the magician. 
This is a magical new beginning. Snake speaking to the Kundalini. Okay, it's very important right now. We're learning how to wield our sword. Swords is of the mind. Okay. You can be that calm center eye of the storm. Stay in your truth. Stay grounded in love. You are love and light. You are connected with spirit. I'm not going to go anymore. That was beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a thumbs up. Share these videos. Do what you can to support. If you need a personal private reading, reach out for one. I'm going to, um, feeling really good today with the solstice. I had a beautiful birthday yesterday and, um, it's time to do some love readings today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's going to be a surprise who I pick. Love you.